Hi, welcome back to a new video of Isaac Albeniz Art Classroom. Today we are going to deal with real dimensions that we are going to work out from um, any given um, projection, linear pr uh, perspective projection. Uh, in this case, two vertical lines, one, two, and three, four, that are not real uh, dimensions because they are uh, linear perspective um, drawing. And point A is a point on the uh, on the ground. We're going to, in order to work with this kind of activities, you need to to take for granted that some points of the of the straight lines and uh, line segments are on the ground. For instance, in this case, we are going to to take for granted that points one and four, and as I already told you, A are on the ground. Otherwise, it's it's, it's going to be a little bit trickier to find out um, how long these th these distances are in the in the real world. And the f the first thing we're going to do mm, is to determine a vanishing point. Uh, we have already one here F1 on the horizon line, always on the horizon line. If you are not given this this vanishing, you just take any point on the horizon line you like. Okay, let's start working. Mm, you take the ruler. Um, I'm going to, to choose another color. Uh, you join it's, it's quite easy. You join point 1 on the ground to point F1 and you extend the line till the ground line in order to get a point of intersection. You work the same way over point 4, you join point 4 to F1 and extend the line till you get a, a point of intersection on the ground line. And finally, you repeat the same over point A. You get three points of intersection, T1, T2, and T3. Why am I doing this? Is because you need always to 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 take and to work with real dimensions upon the ground line. There's no other way. So keep that in mind. There's no way uh, other than the ground line to get real dimensions. Uh, okay. Uh, now uh, we're going to draw some vertical lines from T1 I'm going to, to choose black color I draw one vertical line from to T2 another vertical line and for from T3 another vertical line okay uh, let's explain something before we finish the, the, the whole prox process it's upon uh, point A, what we are going to do is not uh, to, to find out any dimension because a point doesn't have any dimension, as you may already know. Uh, what we are going to do from point A is to build up a given dimension uh, and project it into a linear perspective. Okay, finally, let's uh, finish up everything. I'm going to take again this color, purple, beautiful color by the way I join point 2 to F1 and I, I, I do the same what I did at first, I mean just extend the line, in this case uh, till I get a point of intersection over the perpendicular line from T1 and now I'm going to label the point it's P so the, so the first solution is T1P. T1P is the real dimension of 1, 2 in the linear perspective projection. Uh, you could take the ruler, I'm not going to do so uh, for the sake of the explanation in order to shorten it, but you, you, you could measure with the ruler and write down your exact number, f your figure on top of the page. I'm going to go to the second solution. You just 
again join F1 to 3 and extend the line till you get the point of intersection on the vertical line you have drawn this is the second solution T2Q and finally let's measure for instance 3 cm or let's measure two and a half centimeters okay um, I'm gonna mark this measurement okay uh, and now in order to project this I'm going to change color by the way red color as usual I project this measurement towards F1 from A1 I just draw a vertical line as you have already done but this is, this is a reminder a kind of reminder yes so A5 is this final solution in this case we went the other way around I mean from a real dimension we get the projection uh, and for the two first we get from the projections the real dimension uh, let's round everything up just put in here our final label 